Hello, it's been such a long time I was here and I want you all to read what my pillow says. What does it say? I love you, 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 everyone here. Okay, so, right, there's been a lot going on um, for the last about six months. Elections in Nigeria, change of government, increase in fuel price, increase in electricity, choking the poor after saying let the poor breathe. Like, it's been so much, didn't need so much to take in and... In the past couple of months i have decided to stay away from the news i don't want to be bothered i don't want to hear things that will depress me i remember the day the i was just flying back into the country and i drove back home i think i was driving from the island to the mainland or something um the next day and then i heard about the increase in the fuel price i'm like wow i was on my bed for like three hours i was confused i kept i kept making a lot of calculations i drive a v8 and so later that day, I went out and I tried to put fuel in my car. And a car that I used to take like 19,000 to fill the tank was like 58,000. Then I knew I had to do something. Like, and while I was worrying about myself, then I sat down to think about the, the guy next door, the guy on the street who survives from his daily 2K, you know, who literally needs to sell today what he needs to eat tomorrow, if you know what I mean. I was thinking about the single mothers out there, those kids whose parents could hardly survive before now. What are they going to do? Increase in fuel price would affect everything. The person selling food stuff needs to increase the price of the food stuff because they need to pay transportation for that food stuff from wherever, wherever they purchase it down to their sales place. The driver who's transporting you from point A to B, like literally everything was going to change in our ecosystem and the reality hit me be. And I'm like, if I, who at least God has blessed to an extent, is just disturbed by the hike in fuel price, how about those people who were barely surviving at the level that I'm surviving? And so I blocked my mind totally from what's happening in the news, in the country. There's been a lot of jokes as far as I'm concerned with policies. You can see people are struggling to hit landmarks for their first 100 days in office. And so they are toying with our minds time with our futures, time with our mental health. If you've sat down there and you know that there's nothing you can do right now because I'm not um, advising anybody to go and put their lives on the line, but if you sat down there and feel like there's nothing you can do to change the current situation of the nation from the teething politicians, the rich continuing to be rich, their kids living carelessly abroad on our tax taxpayers' money while we can barely survive, the one thing you can do for yourself is work. Develop yourself block the noise out like i literally came to share how i have survived and managed to sustain the smile on my face i've got about 22 children to cater to hello while i'm thinking about their bills i'm thinking about what future they'll have in this country because this is the only country that they have unlike those that can afford to jack where i won't go am i gonna leave my kids here to go search for hell no i can't even do it i'm a responsible mother so guess what i decided to work harder at myself position myself Whatever I was putting in in the last couple of years to be a better person and to earn more, I've doubled it times 10. Instead of being on social media and cursing people out and fighting and complaining about things you can't change, there's one thing you can change. You can change your personal destiny by working harder, positioning yourself. The energy you're using to curse people out, my darling, use it to hawk your business like pure water and like gala. Let everybody know about you. Push yourself you are the only person who can push yourself these guys don't care about us they don't give a damn about us but you have to give a damn about yourself so for people like us who are sensitive i don't watch the news anymore i don't read the news anymore i just focus on the brand called victoria and my business and i can tell you it's working for me love and light the only way you can change this country is to work hard enough to position yourself in a place of influence so that your opinion can count and your voice can be heard. Like my pillow says, I love you. Have a good day. Bye.